Why do you think it's important in the culmination of the Skywalker saga that the, the Emperor's um, shadow kind of casts such a, a large shadow, I guess I should say? I think the Emperor and his doctrine has kind of trickled down to so many of the characters in the Star Wars universe and the, the dark side is it is what it is because of a lot of his actions and plans and so to have him come back he's like the greatest foe against him, the greatest enemy I mean we might as well take him down properly. I mean I think that there are so many themes in the Star Wars films um, my favorite being redemption and this idea of like no matter what comes at you, you can, well, I can't give you, I'm not going to tell you what happens, right. but um, the idea of redemption. So wait, <laughs> the Emperor's going to be good? Listen, I don't know. We know the Emperor casts a big shadow over this story. Why do you think that it was important to, uh, you know, bring him back, a character seemingly defeated and dead, and have him play a big role in the end of the Skywalker saga? I mean, I was talking to someone yesterday, and I was like, what did you think about the Emperor thing? And like, he's the biggest baddie in Star Wars history. So it just feels, and now that we've done the story, I'm like, it couldn't have happened any other way. Like it had to be that. Um, but he's very, you know, instrumental to uh, the plot of the film. And it's not, it's not just like he appears again. There is, it's all explained. What, did, what was your reaction to kind of the way that it's all brought together in the film? I think it's awesome. I was like, when we were doing it, I kept going, oh my God, this is so cool. And that's nice to be in a film where you're actually saying, oh my God, this is so cool. Um, yeah.